Hi there, I'm Kiriakos Stathis, architect extraordinaire, and I'm here doing a video bid for the project of designing a bridge to Billy Bishop's airport in downtown Toronto. I have made a popsicle stick model of how my bridge, named Trust Nobody, will be designed out of nothing but regular popsicle sticks and regular Elmer's white glue. The approximate dimensions of the bridge are 690 millimeters long from here to here, right there. It is approximately 100 millimeters wide and 100 millimeters tall. I have reinforced every pillar, every truss here with at least four popsicle sticks on each end. Okay, the four corner posts, one, two, three, and four on the other side over there are all three and four. I think there's about eight popsicle sticks the entire way through. The top, for the top part of the bridge, I have it reinforced it all with X's to com to bind the two together. Um, so this bridge really takes after a steel truss bridge. I recall seeing them in Chicago when I last visited. I, th I would think of this as a sort of train bridge, but um, it works just as well as a, as a, vehic as a vehicular bridge. Yes. So it's fairly symmetrical. I mean, it is completely symmetrical. Every side is the same. I've even cut the popsicle sticks on both ends the same. I left the middle ones because I thought it looked pretty cool. And um, so yeah, that's that's the top part of the bridge. On the on the bottom, I have gone and reinforced it as well with. Uh, more popsicle sticks. Uh, so uh, there's a uh, there's a band of two popsicle sticks that the road is built on, that is approximately uh, I believe four popsicle sticks wide. So I think this sucker is going to hold quite a bit of weight. And as I said, obviously these are built of the popsicle sticks, but I take after inspiration of uh, of a steel truss bridge. Like I said. I remember them in Chicago. So, yeah. As I said, Trust Nobody is 115 millimeters tall by 100 millimeters wide and 690 millimeters long. To demonstrate how perfectly flat this bridge is, I have a model car, one of my model cars. See, it doesn't roll, it rolls, but it doesn't move as long as Unless I'm, be, I'm pushing it, see that? Yes, okay. The, um, it obviously moves the entire way. As you can see, no video editing is happening. It just doesn't drive straight, which is why it's not going straight. But anyways, as you saw all the way through, all the way back, okay. And the span is approximately, um, I'd say five, 500 millimeters long so it's perfect trust nobody is very aesthetically pleasing there's no visible excess of glue all the cuts are very precise and the classic truss bridge design is very beautiful and nice photos can be taken on it as well the bridge itself doesn't weigh very much it only weighs around three pounds it's very very light for how how long it is as i said it's uh 690 millimeters long and what I'm going to be using to test the bridge are these interlocking bricks right here. Um, they weigh uh, set around seven pounds, plus or minus, you know, whatever. We've had these a long, long time, so we have a bunch of them. So I figured why not use them to test how strong this bridge is. I believe that the bridge, during the crushing attempt, will experience a sheer point of failure. That is to say, it'll have joint failure. I believe that the regular Elmer's glue will not hold more than... Uh, max weight of 50 pounds, so I expect that the bridge will collapse once eight of the interlocking bricks are placed on it. Before the crushing attempt fully started, a brick was slid into the bridge as an anchor point for the other ones. Sorry, hold one. Brick, two bricks. Three. Four. Five, six, 
six. Seven. And that's 70 pounds. As I predicted, the bridge experienced sheer failure, with the bottom snapping into five different pieces. However, the bridge held much more weight than I thought possible, 77 pounds to be exact. This is why I think Trust Nobody should be the new design for the bridge to be built between Billy Bishop Airport and Toronto, Ontario. Thank you for considering my bridge design and my bid for the project. I will hopefully hear back from you guys with a contract in hand. Thank you.